This video covers a few significant features that are new with version 1.1. These include a legend pane in the graph view, showing the meaning of each link style and each node background color, plus commands to save the current layout state and reload it any time later, and commands to find and display nodes that exist in paths between two selected nodes. A new legend pane has been added on the left side of the graph view. The upper part of the legend shows the name of the predicate that's represented by each link line style that's currently included in the visual graph. If any links represent multiple predicates, then a single line style is used for all of those links. The lower part of the legend shows the name of the type property that's represented by each node background color. A single color is used for all literals, and another one for all nodes that don't have any type properties. The legend can be toggled on and off with the View Legend command on the View menu. You can also change its width by dragging the thick border alongside it. Left-clicking an item in the legend will select it and cause all matching nodes or links for that item in the visual graph to highlight in an animated way. This can be used to help spot the matching items, especially when some styles look similar to each other. Options for the highlighting can be found on the Drawing Options menu on the Node and Link Flashing submenu. Various other options on this menu have recently been moved into submenus as well. Right-clicking an item in the legend shows a pop-up menu of commands that can be applied to that legend item. These commands are borrowed from the menu bar, but may be easier to find here. For example, the command from the Drawing Options menu for changing the line color for a predicate can be accessed here directly. Another new feature is the ability to save and reload layout states. On the File menu, the Save Layout State command will save the current layout to a file that you specify in the usual file dialog. This saves the set of nodes and predicates that are currently displayed, along with the node positions. Then any time later, when you have the same triple store open, you can use Load Layout State to load the layout back up and continue browsing where you left off. Or maybe pass the layout file to a colleague to let them view a layout that you created. At the bottom of the View menu is a list of the layouts that you've most recently saved or loaded for the current triple store. Selecting one of these items is a quick way to reload a recent layout. The other new feature is the ability to find paths between two selected nodes. To use this feature, you first select a displayed node that lies at one end of the paths to be found. Then you use one of the two pathfinding commands on the link menu. When you select Add Paths Between Two Nodes, then a rubber band line will appear between the first end node and the mouse. This prompts you to select another node that lies at the other end of the paths to be found. If you do that, then nodes will be added to the display that exist along paths between the two selected nodes. The maximum path length for the search can be specified on the Inclusion Options menu. If you use Display Paths Between Two Nodes, then all nodes are removed from the display except for those that are in the found paths. Afterward, you may want to use the Go Back command on the Layout menu to return to the full layout and then maybe look for paths between other displayed nodes. So there are the significant new features from version 1.1.